10 Things You Should Never Do When You're Angry Anger is a powerful emotion that can cloud judgment and lead to actions we later regret. It can cause us to behave irrationally, lash out at others, or even hurt ourselves. When we're angry, our emotions can take over, leaving us less capable of handling situations responsibly. In this article, we'll explore 10 things you should never do when you're angry, along with expert-backed tips on how to regain composure and prevent anger from getting the best of you. 1. Never sleep on it. The age-old saying, never go to bed angry, has a solid foundation in science. According to a study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, sleep enhances memories, especially emotional ones. When you go to sleep angry, your brain processes the negative emotions, preserving and reinforcing them. This means that, instead of waking up feeling better, you may wake up with even stronger negative feelings. To avoid carrying anger into the next day, it's best to address the issue before bedtime. Even if resolving the argument fully isn't possible, making peace with your emotions and finding a sense of calm can help you sleep better and wake up in a more positive mindset. 2. Don't get behind the wheel. Driving when angry is a dangerous mix. Research shows that angry drivers take more risks, drive more aggressively, and are more likely to cause accidents. When you're mad, your body enters fight or flight mode, making you more impulsive and less focused on the road. Before you grab your car keys, take a deep breath and ask yourself if you're in the right state of mind to drive. If not, it's better to delay your trip, cool down, and ensure that you're not putting yourself or others in harm's way. 3. Don't vent. It may feel like a good idea to blow off steam by ranting to friends or shouting out your frustrations, but research shows that venting can actually make things worse. A study revealed that people who read or participated in angry online rants felt angrier and less happy afterward. Instead of venting, try calming activities like deep breathing, taking a walk, or practicing mindfulness. Releasing your anger in a healthy way is far more effective than letting it escalate through ranting. 4. Don't eat out of anger. Many of us reach for comfort food when we're upset, but emotional eating when angry can lead to unhealthy food choices. No one craves vegetables when they're mad. High sugar, high fat, carb-loaded snacks are usually the go-to. But the temporary relief you feel from indulging in these comfort foods can quickly turn into guilt, leading to even more frustration. Instead of eating to calm down, drink a glass of water or try relaxation techniques to deal with your emotions in a healthier way. 5. Stop arguing. One of the worst things you can do when angry is to keep arguing. When we're in the heat of the moment, our ability to think rationally is impaired, and we may say hurtful things that we don't mean. Continuing the argument will only escalate the conflict and damage relationships. The best course of action is to take a step back and give yourself time to cool off. Taking a break allows both parties to gather their thoughts and approach the situation with a clearer head. 6. Avoid posting on social media. When you're angry, posting about your frustrations on social media may seem like a good way to get support from friends and family. However, once those angry words are out there, they can't be taken back. Broadcasting your feelings online can lead to misunderstandings, unnecessary drama, and even backlash. Before you share your anger with the world, give yourself time to calm down. You might realize that what seemed like a big deal in the heat of the moment isn't worth the online attention. 7. Don't send that email. Writing a heated email can feel therapeutic, but once you hit send, the damage is done. Angry emails often come off harsher than intended, and they can cause irreversible harm to your relationships, both personal and professional. Instead of sending that email, 
Write down your thoughts in a separate document. Give yourself time to reflect on the situation and only respond when you feel calm and collected. 8. Don't turn to alcohol. It's tempting to pour yourself a drink after a frustrating argument or bad day. But alcohol can actually exacerbate feelings of anger. While a glass of wine might feel like a quick way to unwind, alcohol impairs judgment and can lead to more aggressive behavior. If you're feeling angry, it's best to avoid alcohol and instead focus on calming activities like taking a walk, journaling, or practicing breathing exercises. 9. Don't ignore your blood pressure. Anger doesn't just affect your mood. It can also take a serious toll on your physical health. Research from the European Heart Journal found that the risk of heart attack and stroke increases significantly in the two hours following an angry outburst. This is particularly concerning for people with a history of heart disease. When you feel your anger building, it's important to manage it before it escalates. Practicing stress relief techniques, like meditation or deep breathing, can help prevent anger from triggering serious health issues. 10. Don't ruminate. Ruminating on what made you angry, replaying the argument in your mind or obsessing over how unfairly you were treated, doesn't resolve the issue. In fact, it prolongs your negative emotions and prevents you from moving on. Instead of dwelling on the source of your anger, focus on solutions. How can you address the problem productively? Redirecting your thoughts toward resolution will help you regain control and let go of lingering resentment. Conclusion. Anger is a natural emotion, but it's important to manage it in a healthy way. When you let your anger control your actions, it can lead to bad decisions and regret. By avoiding these 10 mistakes, like sleeping on it, venting, driving, or posting on social media, you can prevent anger from damaging your relationships, health, and peace of mind. Next time you find yourself getting worked up, remember to step back, take a deep breath, and give yourself time to cool off. You'll be glad you did. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.